All right, here we are back in Day Springs Canyon. We acquired some new allies for our hunt against the vamp, the vampires. So we're gonna go say hi to everybody in the fort. See how? Oh, looks like more of the forts rebuilt. This gate wasn't here last time. Is it outhouse? <laughs> hey, Strong's building the place back up. You know what? Those vampires attacked last time, so maybe, maybe we do need some more outside defensives. But there's a cave back in there. There is. I don't think I've ever explored there. Maybe I'll do that sometime. Oh, guys, the bodies are still out here. Come on. At least, you know. At least hide them. back with the help. Ooh, what's this down here? I don't think I've ever been down here. Oh, there's a person. Isran knows how to fight those monsters. He's been preparing for this day for a long time. I see you got some weird clipping magic too. I'll leave you to it. Just like that freaking bear from last episode. Holy hell, that bear was scary. It was walking through walls. Isran. Fuck, fuck vampires. We got bears walking through walls, man. They're coming through the walls. Alright, Isran. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not hurt, lad. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. Of course they do. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but is there actually no way of figuring out what we're doing here? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on the spot for the design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up to control. Get the marmot up and ready for use. In the meantime, the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Sarana? Let's go have a little game, shall we? Sarana is here. Well, <clears throat> milady, tips for Dora. Well, we drop the save there just in case. Do you think Soren is really talks to our soul? Huh? We haven't even met that dude in the story yet. Their dialogue must be bugged a little bit. Yeah, East Ryan, we're just gonna grab some supplies from here if you don't mind. Do we still have our crossbow? Do not. Hey, I'm not gonna say no to free stuff, okay? I'm not. <laughs> we need stuff for the gallery, okay? Uh... Alright, let's go talk with whatever the hell. Let's go see Saran and Isran. Maybe I'll do some exploring afterwards. Is that Ysron? Yeah, it is. Well, you have a great sword. I swear, every time I've done this playthrough, he has a hammer. The first time I've ever seen him use a great sword. I 
don't know, I figured a, a hammer was more his style. He is a bit blunt. I'm, I'm gonna be quiet now. <laughs> uh, damn, they got you back in this room. Alright, let's uh, let's wait for East Round to show up. Come on. Oh, cool. Some torture tools, some torture notes. Some, some brews. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in the hollow crypt. Said they've got something a little important to say. Well, you have the Elder Scrolls. That's a good part. So let's hear it. Hi, Sarda. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. Uh, not so fast. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please, just listen before your friend here loses his patience. I'm surprised he hasn't killed you it's, already. Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. What about you? The reason I no. was down there, and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you've figured out this part already, but my father's not exactly a good person. Even by vampire standards. <laughs> it's a low bar. He wasn't always like that, though. There was a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. He, lost he just himself. became absorbed, obsessed. It was kind of sick, actually. Oh, great. The prophecy said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. For someone who fancied himself as vampire royalty... That's crazy. <laughs> Vampire royalty. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel. Yeah, I so wonder why. we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. Ah. Oh, you took a bigger risk coming here. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. No, no, no. I'm great. Yeah, sure. Let's go this. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. So, um, listen, this is the first thing that's liked me, uh, since I've gotten here. Everything else tends to, tends to stab me in the back, so, you know, be, be, be nice, East Rand. I'm trying to smash. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? I mean, she would literally bring the Elder Scroll to us, but, uh, because we're going to need her help. Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? Dude, we live in a world with dragons and, like, people capturing souls. I can teleport and control people's minds. This blocking out the sun is not the most complex thing I've ever heard of. And why else would you risk your life to come here? Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. <laughs> it can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here... I'll hold you responsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. You hear me? <laughs> Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. So nice, he's around. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. <laughs> So, <laughs> That's a pretty good clap back. Notice the giant thing on my back. I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But of course, neither of us can read it. Oh, who can? Well, the moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away in Cyrodiil. Well, plot convenience. Scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your motive. See, I told you, plot convenience. Do you know where he's staying now? No. And I'm not going to waste men looking. We're going to have a war against your kind. <laughs> I wonder what the to different idol for the dagger. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeeper. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Uh, my charm and wit. Actually, yeah, where would one actually go? Well, back before I... You know. 
The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go to for any kind of magic or historical thing. It's not a bad idea. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Ooh. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. Do you need something? Alright then. Well, let's get going then. Um, hmm. I guess we make our way to the stables and then take a, a cart up to Whiterun, probably? Or not Whiterun, sorry. Winterhold? Yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loot up the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way over there. No. I'll, I'll see y'all whenever we get there. Oh. I'm no fan of the sun, but it would be better than this. I tend to agree, sir, and I tend to agree. Oh, would show you as a wall bed my friend. Uh, casting spells all day. Don't just walk away from me. What do you think you're going? Um, there's supposed to be somebody there. Um. Hmm. There appears to be an issue. here during the day. Let's wait till the... Oh, I'm still seeing a lack of... of what's her face. One second. Alright, alright, I appear to have gotten her unstuck. I just had to do some shenanigans. Well done. I think you'll be I'll lead you across. Well done indeed. Hey Alice. I think she got stuck on some terrain since I have uh, like a, a mod that makes the the castle for the uh, the the college different. Uh, I don't care about this anymore. I believe I've made myself. We'll worry about that later. Eventually, we'll do the college. We're here to learn about an elder scroll. <laughs> it's lies, all of it. I don't know what she told you. It's all lies. You are now in the arc. Disrupt now. Do you require assistance? Uh, let's check if I am moth priest. A moth priest? What an oblivion. Fine. The obvious answer. Sometimes they go out looking. 
He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragon Bridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. Thank you. I'll be taking this as well, don't mind me. Yoinks. All right. I guess back to the carriage person, then back to Skyrim. Or back to uh, Dragon's Bridge. Maybe we can stop by the museum on our way back. I have some artifacts I might want to offload. Uh, first, though, I'm going to go uh, talk to some of my new teachers, see if they have any new spells for us. Alright, here we wow. are in Dragon's Bridge. The soil here really is fertile. I mean, look at the yield of this farm. Getting up too shabby. Uh... We just have to let's go ask somebody. Who would know? Maybe a guard. Are you a soldier? Disrespect the Lord. Ah. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop. They set it south across the mm, Thank you. said they were in south, so I guess we just go along this road and we'll find them eventually. Oh, well. Never be easy, can it? Looks like... Vampire note. Uh, note from. Oh, gas, here we go. Four Barrows Hideout. Okay, well, I guess we're on a Four Barrows Hideout. It's just down this way. Oh. Looks like some other poor unfortunate souls. I'm at their end here. I wonder who did this one. down take that um go potion of jerseys we do Just the time to go into a damp, dark cave. Um, what do we have? We have one skill point left.
that doesn't work. Big boy. Good fight, Serana. I'm okay with the dog, but I've spent more than my share. Let's see if we can get this moth priest out of there. some books for the library, but I appear to have picked up too many. Uh-oh, looks like he's possessed. Holy hell, he hurts. for you. Are you alright? Uh, I'm quite all. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. Well, actually, I know why they need you, and we need you for the same reason. You do? All right then. Enough mysteries. Uh, I need you to do you your job. an Elder Scroll. Remarkable. If my... I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Um, yes, at the fort. Very well. I'll be on my way. There before more of those vampires turn up. Good idea. Um Sorry about that. I just wanted to loot her. <laughs> Looks like we're back on our way to Fort Dongard. Look out with the moth priest so you can read the scroll. Before that though, we're gonna go to town real quick, drop off uh, all our stuff we got for the gallery. Maybe sell all our junk. And then we'll make our way over to Yisran, have him read the scroll, and hopefully we can figure out what the hell's going on with this whole freaking uh prophecy vampire and walk in the daylight nonsense <laughs> 